There's a story in the Bible about manna falling from heaven. And manna was white, sweet, bread-like stuff. Sounds extraordinary. Sounds unrealistic. Well, there are parts of Australia, under the right trees, at the right times of the year, when you can find stuff powerfully like manna. Have a look at this. These are leaves of a gum tree. And if you look at them closely, you find that they're encrusted by little white dots. Very like manna. It hasn't fallen from heaven. It's, in fact, been made there by various insects. And they're collectively known as lerps. Well, what on earth is a lerp? Well, if you look at these leaves, in fact, I've got one here that shows two different kinds of encrustation. Each one is made by a different lerp. They're white, scaly things that sit on top of the leaf. And, in fact, the lerp, the insect, you can't see there, it's underneath that scale. I'm going to bend that over my finger, and with my knife, I'll tease the scale off, and I think you'll see the lerp very clearly. Get the knife point under there and flip it off, and there we are. There's the lerp sitting there. Very flat because he has to fit under his own scale. He's a sap sucker. He's like a bug, and he sap, sucks the sap out of the leaf, and, of course, that's full of sugar and wax. And he can't use all the food, and he manufactures the scale out of all the stuff he can't use. And being sugary, it's sweet, and being waxy, it's waxy. And that's the scale that I flipped off. He uh, will trundle around now and find himself some more protection. Well, the scales themselves are very beautiful, if you look at them closely with a magnifying glass. Some of them look rather hairy, like little hairy white mountains. Others look like fish scales. Some of them have the appearance of shells, or seem to have ribs like a skeleton leaf itself. And each lerp makes a different sort of scale. Well, what's that got to do with manna? In fact, some of those, particularly the white hairy ones, really did taste sweet, and they were used as an Aboriginal food. Aborigines used to gather them up, and sometimes they were like snow on the ground if there was an infestation of these pests, because they chew up the leaves. They're known as pests in our gardens. They used to gather them up, grind them down in water, and make a sweet drink out of it. There wasn't much sugar in Australia until sugar cane came, and it was things like lerps and honey from the wild bees and sugar ants that provided the Aborigines with their sweet foods and drinks. And lerps were one of the Aborigines' sweet drinks.